I don't want you to hear anybody paying back the Mioga money in less than 12 months. Mioga, you start paying back after 12 months. And the borrower decides whether to pay all the amounts at a go or to pay in installments but finish within 24 months. That's my directive now, and I don't want any other debate on this. This is finished now. If, if I hear if I hear any if I hear any deviation, you will see what I will do. Uh, what you really need to to emphasize is you, the leader. You know the what I, I saw from independence here was the disconnection between the elite, the Abbas, Abbasoma with the ordinary people. This was the biggest problem I saw in Ankore there. So the, 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 the few inspection trips I have done in Achori, in West Nile, and recently in Masaka, you can see some cases of lack of connection. First of all, corruption by some of the people. For instance, in Gulu, in one of the wards in the city, they never formed properly the parish circle. And why did they not form the parish circle properly? Because the headquarters stampeded them, said you must form circles by this time. And he gave them, a, I think, a short time or something like that. And because of that, a few people under the commercial officer and that crowd of people met and said they had formed a circle. They, they, were the, the, they started demanding money to be paid back in yoga in four months. Four months! I came to know this from the intelligence. Why do you want people to pay back in four months? When I asked Kasoro, he said, no, some of them want to pay in four months. I said, hmm, this is a bit suspicious. Th this money we are putting is really a, a dynamite against all the parasites in Uganda. The money lenders who have been extorting money from people, these commercial banks, they are all worried about this money. Because this is cheap, affordable, and useful money. So they are trying to campaign it to make it fail. I don't want you to hear anybody paying back the Mioga money in less than 12 months. Mioga, you start paying back after 12 months. And the borrower decides whether to pay all the amounts at a go or to pay in installments but finish within 24 months. That's my directive now, and I don't want any other debate on this. This is finished now. If, if I hear if I, hear any, if I hear any deviation, you will see what I will do. Now, for the PDM, Parish Development Model, because we are dealing with agriculture, the crops take time to, to mature. So for those ones, my directive is let them start paying after 24 months. And the borrower can decide whether to pay all at a go or pay in installments but finish in 36 months. 
That is in, uh, is it one year and a half or what? Three years. Ah, three years. Because what, what we, are, we, we are looking for, because what Kasoro was telling me, Kasoro was telling me that the fund is growing. The fund is growing. Yes, the fund can grow if you give it to businessmen and they pay back. The fund can grow, but our people don't grow. The, the purpose is for our people to grow, not so much for the fund to grow. This is actually an improvement to, to have this revolving fund is an improvement from our previous operation wealth creation, where they were not paying back. They were giving the grant, we were giving the seedlings to one person, not to pay back. So those, those were grants. So now that we have, got, we have moved forward to a revolving fund, that's good. The important thing is that if they can pay back, but when they are ready, and we think that, I think the time is what I have given you, 12 months for a Mioga, 24 months, and, and 24 months, 36 months for PDM. As we speak, the six bills have joined the list of acts of parliament. Number one, the Anti-Homosexuality Act 2023. is now a law number two, the Uganda Human Organ Donation and Transplant Act 2022 has been signed into law. Number three, the Markets Act 2023 is now a law. Number four, the Museums and Monuments Act 2023 is now a law number five, the Law Revision Miscellaneous Amendment Act 2023, is now a law number six, the Microfinance Deposit Taking Institution Amendment Act 2023. Your Excellency, we wish to thank you for assenting to these six pieces of legislation and for executing your constitutional mandate. We also thank the Right Honourable Speaker, Right Honourable Deputy Speaker, Right Honourable Prime Minister and the Leader of Government Business in Parliament and all the members of Parliament for passing these bills.